Team Spain presents A Story with the Future, Somewhere in Spain, Year 2060. A grandmother and her grandson walk through a city park. The boy asks his grandmother whether she came here as a young girl. She replies the park did not exist years ago because nature had hardly any room in cities back then. The air was polluted, nature was almost forgotten. She then says how proud she feels. Why? asks the boy. Because I was part of a team that worked to transform this city into the friendly environment you're now enjoying. How did you do it? It's a long story, but here it is. It all started that year of the pandemic, COVID-19. People around the world were already concerned about climate change and environmental damage human beings were causing to planet Earth. New proposals to encourage sustainable, healthy and environmentally friendly cities started to flourish. Then, a European project called KA3 Urban Greening focused on working for greener cities. Six countries, the Netherlands, Finland, Denmark, Romania, Czech Republic and Spain. So who were the Spanish representatives? There were two pioneers, a school called Malvesia and a company called Paimed. And what did they do? Malvesia and Paimed joined forces. Paimed was a well-known landscaping company, both in Spain and internationally, with extensive experience in urban greening. For example, they were building vertical gardens, roof gardens, performing environmental restoration, sustainable urban drainage systems, Besides, they also did research to find technical solutions to new challenges. Even more, they worked with many other companies to do amazing projects. And most important, they were friends of Malvesia. And what did Malvesia do? Well, in 2021, Malvesia was a vocational school working to educate and transform the rural world with an experience of 50 years teaching and educating students for their future workplace. As a vocational school, highly qualified teachers search for projects to improve students' learning process that they could implement in society. The school's network of partner companies and institutions within the green sector in Spain and Europe was very large. Thanks to Erasmus scholarships, students were able to study and train in other European countries. The school took part in many activities that were organized by other agricultural educational platforms. Anyway, it was a very active school and dreamed of becoming the best vocational school. Grandma, you said Paimed and Malvesia helped in making greener cities. How did they do it? Well, that was a real challenge. The first step was to create a COBE. What's a COBE? It's a Center of Vocational Excellence. I will explain. The idea was to create a place where those who were interested in urban greening could participate and work together. The, pe the more people involved, the greener our cities would become. Society, society had a lot to do and say about it. Malvesia and Paimed starting studying the knowledge and disposition towards urban greening in their most immediate surroundings. They could know who would support the project and where they needed to invest more effort. Then they carried out an important task to raise awareness in society regarding the importance of living in a more sustainable and greener environment. Another big challenge was to convince many, com many companies, administration, institutions to support the project and get involved in it. It was a long and not an easy process but eventually they created a meeting and participative place for school, public administration, companies, research institutions, associations and public and private institutions at local, regional, national and European levels. Did they have friends in Europe? Of course, the best ones. Do you remember there were five other countries in the project? They all worked very hard to create their COVIDs. Each and one of them were unique. The best part was that the six COVIs joined to create a larger and powerful platform, a POVI, where we were able to exchange ideas, 
experiences, share resources and knowledge to become stronger in the overall development of urban greening projects. There was a constant flow of communication and sharing projects. It was fantastic. And what happened then? asked the boy. Together, they all created new studies, new curriculum specialized in urban greening. Projects were carried out according to common strategies of POVI. La Malvesia offered this line of studies and became a reference center in Spain. Students could study face-to-face -face and online, as well as being able to do so in other European COVIs. All studies were equally certified wherever students studied. Many professionals became highly qualified professionals in urban greening demands. Why do you know about all this, Grandma? Well, my boy, I took part in the creation of the first COVID in Spain. I was working for a partner company of Malvesia. When the project arrived, we saw it was a great opportunity to learn and grow, both as a company and as a society. So we started participating in all activities and debates. We welcomed students in our company for their urban greening studies. What a great experience it was. So cities, did cities become greener then? That was just a small part. Over the years, more projects started in different disciplines, such as architecture, engineering, psychology. It was collective work then, as so it is now. Grandma, I love your story. Do you? Why? Because I understand that if we people work together, we can build a better world.